Hey everybody, this is Jesse from Fishing the Dream, and I'd like to welcome, to, welcome you to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Helgramites. Uh, I've got three or four brands I use. Uh, talk about rigging. Um, what's my favorite way to rig them? By the way, I'm no professional. I am not endorsed by any of these companies that I'm showing you. All these fishing lures, or all these Helgramites, and the way I fish them are productive ways that I use them, and they catch fish. If they didn't catch fish, I wouldn't be showing you the video. Um, and at the end of this video, if I hit 100 likes on this video, I'm going to give a lucky viewer two packs of the Nico Helgramites. All you have to do at the end of the video is put your name in the comments and your address, and I'll uh, ship one lucky winner two packs of the Nico Helgramites in the natural color. If this is uh, interesting to you, I hope it is. I hope you guys uh, get something out of it and just uh, stay to the end and we'll see what happens. Appreciate you viewing. All right, guys, I'd like to start off by going over the brands of Helgramites that I use. And my first brand that I use is the Nico Helgramite. Uh, you guys have seen me in previous videos catch a lot of uh, rock bass, spotted bass, smallmouth with this lure and it's very durable uh, like i said before they are a little bit tough to get a hold of because most of it is mail order uh or through amazon um they come four in a pack and they're a little bit pricey they're about 750 a pack but the one good thing about them is they're very durable they hold together you can fish with this one lure for for days as long as it stays on the hook you're going to catch fish on it and it's, it's got uh, scent built in. I'll show you here. When you pull the bait apart like this, you'll see how stretchy it is. It will not come apart. So, that being said, every time you stretch it, the scent comes out. It is a very durable bait. It, uh, it holds together really well. And I'll show you a couple other brands of uh, Helgramites that I use. This is the HD Tackle. It's the five inch Helgramite in black. It's a little bit larger presentation than I normally use. Um, I have caught fish on them. They're durable also. They're not quite as stretchy and uh, forgiving as the Nico, but they are a fish producer and they do catch fish regularly. And I just, I sometimes use these in larger bodies of water because I think the I get a little better product uh, they're a little more productive that way the smaller streams don't work as well with the uh, larger baits i usually stick to a smaller helgramite pattern but we'll go over uh, rigging on all these as soon as i'm done showing you all the brands that i use and i also use bass pros helgramite which is similar to the nico in size and shape it's not quite as durable as the as the Nico, but it is a great fish catching uh, Helgramite. Works very well. Can be rigged just like the Nico or just like the HD. And like I say, they have about four or five different colors. Uh, they're they're very durable. They're scented. They come in a variety pack, I think. And it's this one here is a 3.5, and it's a 15 pack. So. You can quite a few fishing lures for five dollars, so you can. Uh, it's worth your money on these. Uh, they're they're not quite as durable as the Nico, but they they still catch fish and they can be rigged just the same as I said. So we'll go over the rigging and what types of hooks I use uh, to catch smallmouth, spotted bass, and most of the time I'm I'm drifting my baits in the river. I generally don't. Uh, move them too much i may twitch them here and there but generally they are they are uh in the current and they're coming out of a riffle into the uh, slack water is where i generally fish them i'll fish them around some rocks every once in a while, once in a while throw them around uh, sticks or brush piles but generally i try to stick to a little bit of cover with them or the slack water coming from a riffle, which was where the generally the smallies sit waiting for bait. They're kind of an opportunity opportunistic feeder. So I kind of utilize that to my advantage. 
So first off, I'm going to show you the HD in basically a non-weighted version of a hook rig dead center, which I just kind of, uh, you can also add weight to this, uh, like Carolina rig or, a you know, that type of a rig so that you can throw it a little further, but, and, uh, the weight will be a little further away from the hook. So this kind of lofts in the water a little as it goes down the river, which is kind of the way that these Helgamites move. Uh, I don't generally nose hook. Very rarely will I ever nose hook. I find that I snag a lot more in the rivers and streams with a nose hook style. So I usually use the Gamakatsu hook on those. And this is a, it's a octopus hook, barbless. So next off I use, I generally, I know this is a very unorthodox manner in which I'm using this uh, jig, but it works great. I've found that this thing is less snaggable than other jig heads. And I know it's not suited for this type of uh, presentation, but it works great. Uh, I think basically the reason being is because as you're picking it up off the bottom, you're picking that lead weight up and it's kind of dangling the bait as it's being drug across the bottom. And you're got the, you've got the uh, weight up off the bottom, so it's not snagging as much. And this is very productive. I did a... Uh, Helgramite fishing video strictly on fishing with Helgramite with the Nico Helgramite and I caught probably 20 fish with this and It's a great bait. It doesn't tear up like I said and You can use these owner hooks these ultra points. This is what I generally use 1 16th ounce and they are uh, They're reasonably priced you get five to a pack And the other way that the uh, a, a lot of people rig the Nico or a Helgramite is this is also a uh, Nid a Z-Man uh, Z uh, style hook and a lot of people will rig this it's weighted on the bottom and the nose and you just run it through the corner of it and run the hook through it the appendage sideways so that when the bait lays on the bottom it lays with the tail end up in the air I've seen a lot of people fish this in that manner I use it every once in a while, but it, I feel that it snags a little more than most of my other jigs because of it being pointed and it kind of gets into the, the in between rocks and it's not as productive as the uh, dead drifting style with the uh, wacky rig. You can also uh, you can also do a uh, Z-Man Ned jig on these and do it Ned rig style through the nose. And it will stand up on it on the tail end of the uh, it'll stand up on its nose like this with the tail up and uh, I don't feel it's as productive in current as dead drifting through the middle but it also is a very productive way to use it and lastly you can also use the wacky rig weighted hook through the middle weedless and it works just as well there are uh, there are so many different types of of uh, jig heads out there that you can use. This is another style of uh, Ned style hook, which works really well. It's made through Bass Pro, it's six to a pack, and it works just the same as uh, as the other Z-Man Ned hook. But like I said in my previous videos. If you uh, if you like this video and you like the content and you like the information. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe and as I said if I get a hundred likes on this somebody's gonna get some free Nico Helgramites two packs of them in the natural color at the hit the like button subscribe and if you would put your name and address in the comments and I get a hundred likes somebody's getting some Nikos appreciate your support thank you